Yo, I had to make this video. I'm sorry. I had to make it. That's why it's on my phone. It's vertical. It's all weird. Let me do it. Let me be. Let me be me for a second. I just met. Uh, I just read a comment. I posted a video right now that t was titled "A Little Trick, A Little Triggering on Purpose." Sorry, I'm not sorry. Uh, that you're gonna love polarity, and here's why. Here's why we love polarity. Uh, well, well, anywho, let me finish. The, the the first line. The first line of this like eight paragraph long comment said that the soul is as perfect oneness, and immediately I wanted to scream. First of all, no, it's not perfect oneness. Or it is perfect oneness, or, it, or it's no more perfect oneness than the ego is. Right? I, I, I can't read the comment because I'm on my phone. Um, or maybe I... Plot twist. Maybe I can. Da, 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 da. Give me... Give me... All right, you guys. Let me see if I can find this comment real quick. I'm looking for the comment real quick. Wait, 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 wait. Jesus Christ, I'm trying to give you guys secrets of the universe here, and you can't wait two fucking seconds for me to pull up some comments. Give me a break. Okay, he says, she says, uh, uh, Bjorn uh, Christian Hansen, I'm, I, I don't mean to come at you. I'm coming at the uh, archetype that is you, because there's an archetype that is the one that you're portraying, portraying Though I'm not convinced it's actually yours. Again, give me two seconds to plug in my computer. Why aren't you charging? Something's going on here. Oh. Alright, there we go. Sorry. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Are you not entertained? It says, we're going to go through this whole comment. We'll go through the whole comment. Um, I love shit like this. So I'm not getting fired up because I'm angry. I swear I'm not angry. I'm getting fired up because I just love these types of conversations. Even though it's sort of one-sided, I'm sorry, Bjorn, that you're not here to defend yourself. Uh, I wish you could be. I, I truly wish you could be because this is a great conversation that the community needs to be having. First line, our soul is perfect oneness. Um, no, it's not. Um, it is perfect oneness, but technically speaking, in this world, I would say that everything is perfect oneness because everything comes from source. You know, everything is an illusion. It's all a facade. It's all one. It's all God. It's all the glorious, whatever you want to call that, right? So saying our soul is perfect oneness is like saying wood is perfect oneness. Yeah, but that's not necessarily, you know, noteworthy. The soul is perfect oneness. Yeah, but like there's a lot of other cool aspects of oneness that we can focus on. It's not all, you know what I mean? So yes, you're right, but what you're what you're trying to say, uh, but, but, yeah, I don't know, but you're not you're not, you know what I mean? You're right when you're not right is what I'm trying to say. So you basically we got nowhere. We took one step forward and one step back. And that's the kind of conversations that we want to avoid or, or not that we want to avoid that but, but that we want to address when they come up. You know what I mean? Like now. Uh, it says the external world is an illusion projected from the ego. Yes. Um, the ego is a wish to be different from how we was created. We were. The ego is a wish to be different from how we were created, I believe, is what you meant to say. A voice we made to replace the voice of God. Yes, but now you get... See, this is where well, earlier when I said that um, I believe you're, what I'm coming at is not you, but the archetype that you are a mouthpiece for at the moment. Like, we are all, all mouthpieces for a archetype in various ways. I am, you are, your dad is, your son is, your daughter, your friends, whatever. Your, your arch nemesis is probably your best. Anywho, anywho. To say a voice we made to replace the voice of God is almost a little... I want to use the word melodramatic, but I don't want to be that mean. Like, it's not... What I'm saying isn't as mean as saying it's, it's melodramatic, but it, but it is at the same time. It's like... It's not something we made to replace the voice of God. Like, humans didn't just make this thing called the ego. You know what I mean? That, if anything, that's the social construct. That's, that's the misplaced definition. But instead... I want to, this is the conversation, the ego is the lens that we look through, 
listen up guys this this is important the ego is is the lens that that the infiniteness of reality is adjusted to see so going back to how it's all oneness still don't mind the dogs whenever the do the dogs are my guardians of the gates if you guys are familiar with emerald tablets and whenever a soul tries to cross the great the, the gate the dogs rip its soul apart and keep it until the end of time and then release it when the new cycle starts so they're just chasing away spirits anywho speaking of souls getting captured here's the thing here ba back to the ego the ego is a, the ego is just a type of lens the soul is an ego is what i'm getting at it's a type of ego you know what i mean like you have a, the, the, the fact that you and I both have souls is a testament of undeniable proof that within this conversation, in this realm of spirituality, that, that the fact that we do have different souls is a fact that souls are also types of egos. Again, the ego is just something that gives an individual perception of reality. There is a quote-unquote ego lens of a rock. A rock is is having an experience in this universe. Con in other words, consciousness is materializing into the third dimension, oneness, and is manifesting as different forms. All those different forms have different uh, types of experiences. One has an experience of a rock, for example. One has an experience of the thing called Keith, me, the man of letters is its own type, you know what I mean? The soul. Whenever you have separation, you guys, you have an ego. And this is why I made the last video I did where I titled it, You Love Polarity. And, and, and this person, like, the fact that this person is studying whatever specific, let's say, um, whatever philosophy of magic or spirituality that this person is in, they love it. They, they, they're obviously well-spoken. They're obviously well researched and rehearsed in their dialogue and their recall of that dialogue. The fact that that person is doing that is acknowledging how much they love a certain aspect of reality, which is polarity. Because what polarity does is it gives us an experience. There is no experience of anything if all things are the same. I'll give you a crude example. Bear with me. If all you ever eat are green apples, you can't say whether green apples are good or bad. You could. You, you'd probably be like, green apples suck only because that's all there is to eat. It's like, I'm sure they would taste great if I had other things to eat. But then if I had other things to eat, I would give you a better answer of whether or not this apple is any fucking good or not. And, and that's what existence is. It's just we, 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 we get to fall in love. We get to have children. We get to have sex. We get to have fucking huge orgies. We get to have all kinds of weird stuff. We get to have stuff that we, didn't, that we don't really want to have because we're so tired of always having what we want. That's how fucking crazy existence is. It happens all the time. Trust me, if you haven't seen that pattern in human nature, you're not paying attention. You know what I mean? And so when I say you love duality, I'm not, it's like, yes, oneness exists. And that's what I, that's what I mean by your, by this person is, by the archetype that this person is representing is this archetype of, and this archetype in spirituality that says polarity is bad, one bad, and two only exist in the third dimension. And I call total horseshit on that. I believe, well, not, it's not even me. The archetype that I'm speaking through would be the hermetic philosophy, alchemy, tarot, what this shit is all built on. What the fuck? All of your guys' favorite practices was built on the hermetic philosophy. You guys realize that. That shit goes back into fucking ancient chem. That's like the, that's the birthplace of knowledge as far as modern man is concerned. It doesn't get any older than this. All fucking religions are based on this fucking... Now this it's crazy it's amazing anywho anywho the archetype that i was speaking to in here is the one that says polarity only exists in the third dimension um and it's bad polarity is simply a, a mechanism of existence and that mechanism is there because without it 
there would be no separation there would be no illusion of separation between things and therefore there wouldn't be different things and if all things were the same there would be oneness forever and no experiences that's why that's why we're here we are a, you are you are right that this is an illusion uh, you are right to say that our soul is perfect oneness but just as much as you are right to say the ego is perfect oneness as love is perfect oneness as a sunset is perfect oneness as a newborn child as, as the first laugh of your newborn child as much as that pureness um a uh, perfectness of oneness you know what i mean uh, yeah. polarity is good it's not it's not good it's not bad polarity is simply something that has to exist if you want differences between things that's it it's plain and simple plain and simple i was just writing something down where i was i was gonna make a tiktok video i think i wrote down Every superhero is the dark side of his nemesis. And I thought of um, Batman. Like, Batman and Joker are exact opposites. Like, Joker is who Batman would become if he went to the dark side, in other words. He's pure order. If he went to the dark side, the ultimate Luciferic move would, to be, would be to, to just invert the glory to corrupt the go the glory and make its its dark side like that's the goal of of, of the shadow um and but that's why we like that story so much because it's so real we know that on a subconscious level to be true like this phenomena of yin and yang the phenomena of masculine feminine um the phenomena of you know opposites attract and magnets I, I, so yes you guys love polarity if you love anything in existence then then you love polarity because it's all polarity even if you go to the fifth sixth dimension the fact that the fifth dimension calls itself the fifth dimension tells you that polarity exists because if there's no polarity and all things are the same why the fuck are you calling yourself the fifth dimension you see what i'm you see what i'm you see how silly it sounds when you put it that way it sounds silly because it is silly i don't know what to tell you don't shoot the messenger bro hermes was the messenger god don't shoot don't shoot Tahuti. Don't shoot Mercury. He evolved. It was Tahuti uh, back in ancient Cam, and then the Greeks knew him as Thoth, same dude, but then the Greeks uh, changed Thoth slash Tahuti uh, as the Romans took him. And Anywho, point being, point being. Um, I don't know, I lost my point. I lost my point. I had it, and I guess it's gone now. But, uh... <sighs> The, Bjorn, I feel like I've seen your name before. I'm sorry, man. I had to come in hot. Like I said, I'm not coming in hot because I'm angry or I'm like, Ugh. I just get fired up with this shit. This is my favorite thing. Like this is, these are the conversations that that I want to see happening on, uh, you know, when two fucking big YouTubers, two big gurus come on. I feel like they're always like, so what's your sign or some sh ah, some shit? I don't know. I'm being a dick. What, what, yeah. Thank you guys for being here on the channel. Uh, thanks for putting up with me. Bjorn Christian Hansen. Thank you for the comment. I swear I enjoyed this comment more than any comment like any comment I, you know like i would rather this than someone being like omg great video keep up the good work exclamation point that's great because it helps the algorithm but i'm talking as far as mentally stimulating great this your con like this is this is my this is the conversation right here thanks man um or woman um, thanks for being a good sport and um cool Sorry, if you guys are new to the channel, my name's Keith. <laughs> my my ego, my ego, in Latin, you know ego in Latin means I? My I. Uh, what was I? Anywho. <sighs> I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, yeah? Take it easy. Zip it up. And zip it out.